What is going on guys? My name is Tyler. I am very excited to bring you guys another video. This one is about CCIV. I had heard about the SPAC a couple days ago actually, but I didn't look into it. And then come to find out it's an EV company. So that just got me excited right there. And that's what really made me want to get into it and break down what's what this company is doing. Before we get into that guys, hit the subscribe button. It's in the watermark in the bottom right hand corner and hit that like button and let's go let's get right into it uh we got a couple couple articles this this says electric vehicle startup lucid motors which hasn't delivered a car yet is reportedly in talks to go public and a merger with a special purpose acquisition company a spac the network the newark based tesla competitor could be valued at up to 15 billion in the deal bloomberg re per reported citing on unnamed sources who said the talks are ongoing but could fall apart the spac that is currently involved in the new york based churchill capital corp the fourth run by veteran wall street deal maker michael clean klein i don't know how to really say that it raised 1.8 billion in an ipo last july its stock cciv jumped more than 30 percent on monday's report closing at 13 dollars and 20 cents um bloomberg had re had previously reported that the SPAC was in talks to buy a stake in AT&T. Clearly, that did not work out. Uh, it goes on to say that blank check companies, SPACs, are very popular right now with EV companies. It's cheaper to launch on the market with a SPAC than through a regular IPO. But it says, Lucid, led by Tesla former chief engineer, aims at the luxury auto market. Its first cars are expected to go expected to go into production at a new Arizona factory late this year. They will be the top of the line dream edition, which goes for 169,000 and boast a driving range of about 503 miles between charges. Uh, that's pretty expensive. They're, they're, they're trying to target the top, the top dollar, which I guess is, is not a bad thing. People will pay it and they will just have better margins. I do also like that they are focusing on areas like Tesla is the the all around general utility vehicle market that the, the average Joe car. So it says the other models from the entry level are sixty nine thousand. It's the Lucid Air to the eighty seven thousand five hundred touring model and the one hundred thirty one thousand five hundred dollar Grand Touring Edition are expected later in twenty twenty one and twenty twenty two. I like their ambitious plans. I I like the different price ranges. You, like you still get beautiful beautiful vehicles just with less mileage or you know small small little features here and there less horsepower but like look look at these look at these cars like this this, this is the sixty nine thousand dollar one just beautiful expect its ev to go into production at a new arizona factory late this year they will be the top of the line dream edition which goes for 169,000 and boasts a driving range of about 503 miles between charges uh the other models entry 699 87.5 and the 131,500 expected later in 2021 2022 um nicola yeah we're not going to talk about that on this channel uh but it says the company claims they'll offer the fastest charging EV in the space through Lucid, Lu, Lucid Air. According to the company, it could charge as fast as 20 minutes for 300 miles. That's that's way better than what the EVs than what EVs are doing right now. Uh, just so you guys know, it says that's staggering when you think of it. EVs often take a while to charge, and the industry has been working hard to bring that charge time down. That's to broaden the appeal for EV adaption. If Lucid can indeed deliver on its claims, could be a, a big game changer. Lucid is also working on one of the first home charging stations to offer bi-directional charging. Now, most chargers only allow electricity to flow in one direction from power gr grid to vehicle, but with Lucid chargers, electricity can flow in both directions, according to the company. This means that a Lucid vehicle can be temporarily energy reserve to power your homes including off-grid vacation properties wow oh this is big it says the multi-trillion dollar automotive business is going through significant transformation enabled by falling battery costs uh just talking about how good the ev stocks have been doing they've i mean that's no secret if you look at their website too 
you can see the Air Dream Edition is this spring coming up, 2021. The Air Grand Touring in the summer of 2021. And then the Air Touring in late 2021. And then the Air Pier in early 2022. Guys, this, this looks really good. This looks like this company is ambitious, looking to get out there and start making vehicles. The last thing you need is an EV company that says all this good stuff and doesn't do it. So they do have a lot to prove. Um, they are backed by a Saudi, a Saudi, uh, wealth fund. It, it it was it was somewhere in this article, but they gave them 1.8 billion in funding. So I'm sure they had pretty, uh, well amount of cash. When when the SEC file comes out, when they do agree to it, then I'm gonna break that down. But as far as right now, we do not have any information. They are not a public company yet. They they do not have to share that. So. Uh, with with that being said, I'm definitely gonna throw this into my speculation portfolio and probably buy a couple hundred dollars worth, maybe 500 bucks. But I just wanted to get it out there because I think this thing's gonna go crazy. It's it's up like 30 percent today alone. So you really don't want to wait when it comes to something like this. If if that's something you're you're willing to speculate on, I I think these these sometimes like look at. Look at Nikola and all those all those fraudulent ones. You know, if you have a legit company, especially at EV, that's that's gold and get eighteen dollars. Like, come on now. But that's all I got for you guys. So until next time, see ya. Peace out.